What's up guys, it's me your badass host Draven and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode we went through Route 111 all the way to Route 113 straight right here to Full Arbor Town and first things first guys, I want to show you a little something right here. So, if you take a look at the PC right here, there's somebody blocking the way. You talk to her and she's like, oh, hello, you are? Okay, your name's Draven. I can see that you're a trainer. So that means that you use a, the Pokemon storage system I developed. How I arrived at the conclusion is a simple deductive process. You spoke to me because you wanted to access something on this PC. Not really, I just, you know, I'm doing the walkthrough and all that crud. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm Lynette. Honestly, I am glad to meet you. It's uh, great to meet. It's great you're using the storage system. If you could, please visit me at the at home. My house is at Route 114. Okay, you got it. Alrighty, so that is one thing that you guys need to keep an eye out for. The other thing too is the battle tent right here, which I will be showing you guys in a little bit. But here we are in Far Arbor Town, a farm community with a small gardens. This place right here, it's very barren, there's not a lot. This used to be, what was it, a, a contest tent, if you guys are playing both Ruby and Sapphire, but now we got the battle tent, and uh, well, if you go right here, you're gonna talk to this person. It's just gonna be like, Professor Cosmo went off to the Meteor Falls on Route 114 with some people from Team Magma. Hmm, Team Magma. I mean, I've had issues with Team, Team Aqua, but Team Magma? And if you go right here, this guy is the Move Tutor. This individual will actually teach your Pokemon moves on a, on the price of a hard scale. He's like, I know all the moves the Pokemon learn, every one of them, and I can teach the Pokemon those moves. I can teach a move to a Pokemon if uh, of yours if you'd like. I'll do it for a hard scale. Now I'm collecting it, and yes, we do have a hard scale on us. So, let's see. I'm just going to show you guys a little something. Sage of the Halo right here. It's learned quite a few moves throughout this walkthrough. If you have a move that you want to teach it, or relearn it all, all that stuff, or a Pokemon that you just caught, and may or may not have a secret move involved, then this is the person to go. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be doing that right now, because I kind of want to save that up for a little bit later. And just remember, you can get heart scales from... What was it? What was that Pokemon called? That heart Pokemon, yeah. Can't remember what it was named, but use Thief. Now, if you go into Route 114, you'll find the Fossil Maniac's house right here. And this person does have a little rare item. My big brother's the Fossil Maniac. He's a nice guy who loves fossils. He loves digging holes, too. He dug this hole all by himself. You can have this, so you can dig holes just, by, just like my big brother. And here we have the TM28 Dig. A very, very good move. And, well, let's go right ahead and see what this is all about. As you guys can see, he has dug his way through this place. And, well, talk to him. He's like, I'm the Fossil Maniac. I'm a nice guy who loves fossils. Do you want a fossil? But the fossils around these parts all belong to me. None, of, none for you. If you can't bear to go without a fossil, look in a desert where there are boulders and sand they may hide at fossils. Oh, wow. Funny thing is, guys, that this place right here will become a little bit more expanded after you beat the Elite Four. Could be wrong, but yes, you guys need to keep yourself an eye, give give you guys a keep yourself an eye out for this place right here. So, what's going to happen right here in this episode, guys, is we're going to show you guys the battle tent. If you guys remember, I believe it was. Let me see. It was episode. It was episode seven. Yeah. Okay. So episode seven. Here's the the battle tent Fall Arbor site. May the greatest teams gather. This place is just a little bit different. I did do a little run through before this, and the rules are a little bit different. So, welcome to the Battle Tent, Fall Arbor Site. I am your guide to the Set KO Tourney. Now, you'd wish to take the challenge of the Set KO Tourney, yes. Actually, hold on just a sec. I need to read the rules, so. Lexi, hold on. Okay, so. Welcome again, set KU, and go straight towards the info. So, right here he says, in the Full Arbor Paddle tent, we undertake the set KO tourney. All participants enter with a team of three Pokemon. The three Pokemon must be lined up in an order that they are to appear in. During the battle, the Pokemon will appear one at a time 
in the preset order. Once a Pokemon enters the battle, it must remain until or remain out until the match is decided. If a match remains undecided in three turns, it goes to judging. If you wish to interrupt your challenge, please save the game. If you don't save, you will not be able to continue your challenge. If you pull off the feat of beating three trainers in succession, we will present you with a fine prize. Okay, so... Let's go right ahead and take a, uh, take a look at this challenge right here. It doesn't really matter if I win the prize or not. So, this is a three-turn event. So I'm going to go straight for the three Pokemon that can actually help me out. So let's go with Vesuvius right here. And, you know what, I'm going to go with Venom. I have a lot of confidence in Venom right here. Okay, before showing you the Battle 10, I must save. Yes, let's go ahead and save this game right here. And, well... Look at that. Okay, so let's go straight into the battle tent. I have no intention, no intentions of winning this whole thing. I know for a fact that there there might be a screw up here and there. So the referee's like, "Set KO, tourney, begin." The way I battle is weird. Okay. Alrighty, so here we go. Another event in the battle tent, and we are taking on Tuber Natalie. Remember, guys, three turns. We need three turns to beat these guys. Or else the judges will decide. And here we go, Sage versus Goldeen. Obviously, we got the type advantage right here. And I do believe everybody right here in this battle tent will be at level 30. And oh my god! Wow. Wow, okay. Holy buckets. And uh, so that was two turns. You gotta be kidding me, and here comes, oh my god, <laughs> wow, wow, oh my god, this is ridiculous, okay, so, yeah, yeah, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta end this quickly, I think the, I think the, uh, the judges will, oh, friggin, oh, <laughs> and here comes a supersonic, so, yeah, holy buckets, oh yeah, we're getting our butts creamed, oh my god, and here comes a magnitude, and it is six, that won't be enough since it's seven levels off. Oh my god, okay, so I really have nothing. I got nothing, and that's two turns. I think the judges will go with, with this guy right here. Oh my god, another supersonic. And come on, come on, baby. And here's a six. Come on, you gotta go up to ten. And I think the judges, yes, that's it. We will now go to the judgment to determine the winner. Mind, we got it. Oh wow! Okay, skill and body will be them. So we win for two. That was just lucky. Okay, so after that, the <laughs> oh Jesus. Okay, so I think I know what this. I think I know what this Magikarp has. Oh my God! This would have been an easy battle if the horn drill didn't go and. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Splash attack. Oh my god. Yeah, we're gonna get creamed right here. Okay, confused. Come on, Vesuvius! Damn it! Okay. And it looks like that was three. And I think we're gonna lose this one. Just because we were confused. No, that's one. Okay, two, two. And crap baskets! Okay, so we lost to Magikarp. Oh my god, okay, so we're down to one. Alright, so it should be an easy cakewalk right here. Holy crud. But no, okay, knowing these Magikarp, like it has Flail. I think it's waiting for Flail. Flail is just a nasty move when it comes to Magikarp. So here we go, splash attack again. Nothing. And there we go. And it is poisoned. So I'm going to go straight for an Amnesia because we need to up that defense for the whatever's next. And it looks like to me we're going to win this one right here. Tackle attack. And it is hurt by poison. We win. It doesn't go straight to the judges. So we're down to one. Oh my lord. Here comes Pelipper. Okay, so this is a Pokemon we do need to be careful for. Sludge attack. Water gun attack. You see, special attack. That doesn't really hit as hard. 
And it does a poison, so let's go straight for poison gas. Oh my god. Come on. Let's go, Venom. Poison. Oh, come on. So it looks like to me we're not going to win this one. Oh my lord. Oh god. So evasiveness, sludge attack, and there's three turns. And that's it. We'll go to the judges. And mind. We got one, two, and then good gravy. We lost. Okay. Ugh. Yes. Okay, so we have lost this battle right here, guys. Yeah, you're too much weak for this place. Wow, the disrespect. Okay, so that was the battle tent. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so that was the battle tent. And you best believe that I'm going to try and work my way out of that. Uh, I got Scott right here looking at me all like, what the hell? Hi, Draven. So you came out to the battle tent. The people in these parts tend to be easygoing and laid back. But you see... What I am looking for are people with, how should I say this, someone bursting with the desire to drive to win. If there are, if there were a trainer like that, I'd immediately, whoops, never mind, keep working at it. Wow, everybody is disrespecting me in here, I don't want a beer no more. Anywho, that has been our little uh, visit to Fall Arbor Town. I am not too happy about it. I'm going to try and win this, okay? I am really trying to win this. Anywho, guys. In the next episode, we're going to be going straight to the Meteor Falls, and we're going to be doing things right there, and quite possibly saving a volcano or something like that. So, thank you guys again for watching, thank you guys for being patient as always, and I will see you guys in the next episode as we go straight to the Meteor Falls. See you guys.